Hey everybody, it's Brooke. How you doing? Welcome back. Um, I was really guided to get on here today and uh, make a video for you guys. Um, I want to start out by saying just know that every time I make a video, my intentions are to send Reiki healing energy to you guys. Um, Archangel Metatron was with me. We've already sent that. It's there. Um, all you have to do is just open up and receive. Um, Archangel Michael's putting protection around, so around us. So um, just know that you are safe, you are protected, you are loved. And Archangel Gabriel is, is here um, delivering the messages. And I want to start out by, they really encouraged me to pull out my Dalmatian Jasper um, and my Moonstone today and, and, and make sure I have these on. I'm not, I don't like to wear a lot of rings, but I'm finding that sometimes I need that, that balance. I used to be that girl that kept crystals all in her bra everywhere she went, and then I started losing them, and I lost some really expensive ones, so... Felt it was better to start 122. Um, better to start um, investing in jewelry <laughs> because then I can just put it on my body. <laughs> anyway, um, real quick, do me a favor, hit like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I make a video. It's 144 on my clock. Um, one thing about the Dalmatian Jasper, and I was really drawn to go back right before I got in here to make this video and, and read what Dalmatian Jasper does. And Dalmatian Jasper brings you back to that childlike innocence. It's 2.02 on my clock. So um, we're really being encouraged to step, step back into a child's mind, a beginner's mind. Um, dreaming. I had a lot of messages about um, Disney getting into that that dream, that fairy tale. Um, and that's how we are able to tap into that highest vibration and truly start manifesting. Okay? We're moving closer to the 5D. Um, I've had a lot happening with my um, gifts, my, my psychic abilities, and I don't like to use that word psychic because I feel like it's a label that we've put um, on it, and, and really it's, it's connecting to the divine, it's connecting to God and the angels and allowing them to really lead the way. So I'm sure you all hear everybody talk about, it's time to get in mission, it's time to get in mission, it's time to get in mission. And, you know, today during my morning um, meditation, um, something hit me. A card that continues to keep up in the readings, keeps popping up, is you're exactly 333. Three, three. Um, angels are with us. Jesus is with us. Okay? Um, we are able to... Where'd it go? <laughs> channel turned off <laughs> Jesus take the wheel take it from my hand okay I gotcha <laughs> they cut one off to show me another one okay gotcha gotcha <laughs> um, I'm letting go give me one more chance save me from this road that I'm on Jesus take the wheel okay so because we're moving closer to 5d we uh, need to really be tapping into that pure channel from God, that pure channel from the divine. Um, every day, praying every day, saying, God, lead me, use me, guide me, allow me to speak through you um, and reach my brothers and sisters and allow them to get the messages that they need. Um, and ironically enough, I was really drawn to put my faith t-shirt on because um, 
This is the ultimate test of our faith. This is the ultimate test. And, you know, every day for the last year and a half, I've, I've, I've seen this meme on repeat. And it is Jesus with a child, okay? And he's on one knee. And he's trying to take the teddy bear from the child. And, and he says, do you trust me? And, and the, the child says, but I love it. And the child has no idea that there's something bigger and better. All you have to do is trust and believe God has your back. Okay? This has been huge. This has been loud. This has been repeat over and over again. Um, in the messages and the downloads that I'm getting, and I feel that it's really important that I, I share um, what's happening with me so you guys don't feel like you're lost. You know, I have been in mission for God my whole life. You know, that never really stopped. And looking back on everything that's happened, um, it all makes sense leading up to this point. We all agreed to experience and live through every single moment so you have the tools to lead you into this next step. I mean, when the lockdowns happen, I was forced to face one of my darkest fears. You know, I was forced to put blind faith in the direction that God was, was taking me through. Um, you know, I have a son that has Crohn's and he is on, he has been on a Remicade to control it. We had to do something to, to slop, to stop. The, the attack on his body so his body would have time to, to start healing with him. And, you know, going through being shut down and knowing that not only I, am I high risk with what's going on, because I have autoimmune diseases as well. Um... I am high risk, so is my child, so is my stepdad that now has cancer, and so is my dad, and my dad's side of the family, like, you know, people that they're talking about is me, and having to face fear right in the face, and, and allow my son to tell me, mom, you cannot keep me in a bubble. You can't save me from what's going on around me, and I can't. But I had to believe that there was a reason why I was being walked down this road. And then this summer, DCS comes after us because his doctor turns us in for child, you know, medical child neglect. Like, you know what I mean? And I knew everything had to be for a reason. And it's for this reason now. Um, I was meant to lead my children by faith. That's how we save them. 
I was meant to let my son, Luke, play football while Jacob and I sit there and hug him after the game, knowing, knowing the risk. You know what? I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't change it. You know, are we going to get busy living? Or are we going to get busy dying? Because whatever happens, whatever happens is what, it's 1044, is what we have agreed to experience. And like I said, like I've had a lot of You know, light workers, you're leading this. We are here to shine the light. We are here to live by example. We are here to eleven twenty two. We are here to save these children. We are here to be fearless and bold and you know how can we expect our children to be fearless if we are not being fearless ourselves and how can we expect our children to follow their dreams if we're not doing the same because we are stuck in that programming you know how how do we expect our children to um, be good people we're not showing them, you know, <sighs> hold on, it's your song on. time for us to decide how the story changes. My house is not much to talk about, but it's filled with love and a little bit of chicken fried. <laughs> You know, how is, how's everything going to look? What are we going to do? What is going to be important? Now is the time that we really start instilling um, the values that's going to move us forward. I want to pull a card real quick just to see. Phew, y'all, the floodgates. Energy's moving. A lot of energy moving and you know Karen girl you say it best they use me as an example <laughs> I have to go through it and show that there's um, light at the end of the tunnel last one let's see where everybody's at for the collective. Baby steps. Action, follow your intuition before it makes sense. Um, and if you can see, there's a portal. We are definitely going through, 1422, we are definitely going through a portal um, with this solar eclipse and the, the winter solstice that's coming up. So this is a lot of information is getting thrown at us. A lot of things are changing. Um, my will to thy will. Micromanaging the universe. Breath of the cosmos. 
instead of allowing fear to stop us, we need to lean into it, flow with it. Ask for protection and know that we are protected. All right, I love you guys. If you wanna book a reading with me, my information's down below. Talk to you soon, bye.